Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz, we are Lei Wanru. Today we are going to talk about bads, so think about the things that you don't like. Now think about a scenario where you are going to babysit your little cousin, Jason, and he's only five years old, on a Friday evening. And you do that so that your uncle and auntie can have a movie night. Now, before your uncle and auntie leave, they told you, hey, make sure that you make Jason eat his broccoli. Now you scratch your head, you know that's difficult because you know that Jason hates broccoli. So what do you do? So think about the scenario. You know that Jason hates broccoli, but he loves bacon. And in the beginning of the night, Jason was not eating any broccoli or bacon yet. So now you have broccoli and you have bacon. So what you would do is that, you know what little Jason? If you eat your broccoli, I'm going to give you one bacon. And Jason was like, uh, okay, even though I hate broccoli, but I want bacon, and that's the only way that I can get bacon, so I'm going to eat my broccoli. So you make sure that Jason is moving on the same indifference curve. We call it IC1. So we're moving from 0, 0, no broccoli, and no bacon to 1, 1. And notice that you are on the same indifference curve because you hate broccoli, but you love bacon. I mean, for Jason. And uh, at this time, because you want to induce Jason to eat his broccoli, so you say, you know what, Jason, if you eat another portion of broccoli, I'm going to give you another bacon. And Jason's like, uh, okay. And then he's moving on the same indifference curve from 1-1 one, one to 2-2. Two, two. So you see that um, more bacon and more broccoli is going to cause Jason to remain on the same indifference curve. And in fact, Jason is not very happy. Jason would be happier if you give him more bacon and less broccoli. So for example, if Jason could get away with uh, getting one more bacon without eating one more broccoli, he would be very happy, say, three slices of bacon and only two portions of broccoli. That will make him happier than two slices of bacon and two portions of broccoli. So you can see any direction that gives Jason more bacon and less broccoli, that is going to make Jason really happy. And the direction to give him more broccoli and less bacon is going to make him really unhappy. So that's the idea of bats. I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.